So you guys want to know if it's cool to hustle t-shirts without a business license. Well, you guys got questions and I've got answers. You guys are watching Ask Stan the Man. Hi guys doing? My name is Stan Bates from T-Shirt Science and I help people start t-shirt businesses from home. Wherever you at. And today, I'm going to get right to the answer to this question right after the intro. <laughs> into it but before I do you guys know I got my spiel make sure you like this video comment subscribe I'm putting a lot of work in to bring you guys this content and more importantly if you have a question that you believe deserves a video answer put it down in the comments below that way I can answer a question every single day and I really want to do it every single day so let me read this question to you guys and this came from Instagram uh, via uh, via the comment or the post I put where I asked you guys to comment a question and this came from Buffalo Black and it says, is it cool to hustle these tees without a business license? Question mark. I'm trying to keep all my money. Now, I, I feel you, bro. You want to keep all your money. But first and foremost, I am not a lawyer. I am not a tax accountant, a CPA. I am none of that stuff. So I can only give you guys what my opinion is or views on it is, right? And like you and like everybody out here, we want to keep all of our money to ourselves. Why pay Uncle Sam and Uncle Sam ain't put none of this work in, right? But Uncle Sam ain't somebody you want to play with, right? It's a lot of people that, out here that say there's only like three companies that they don't want to mess with and they all got three letter names or whatever that is. That's uh, the IRS, uh, that is the IRS, the ATF, and the FBI, right? Those three places, three people you don't want to mess with, three companies you don't want to mess with because they make all the rules and even though they break them sometimes, but they make all the rules. So that's not somebody you want to play with. However, when it comes down to operating a business versus operating a hobby, um, you got to look at your local state laws or whatever the case is. And you can operate a hobby up to a certain point. So let's just say it's 600 bucks. And then everything over that point, you need to report on your taxes, right? So you need to start to report uh, once you cross that threshold. And once that threshold is met, you are now operating a technically a sole proprietorship, which means you can operate off of your social security number. Uh, and it would just be filed on your regular taxes. You give it to your account, you let them know X, Y, and Z. So let me explain what happened for me, right? I started this business, I had no idea. You know, I was just out here going from one thing to the next. I never was doing anything consistently long enough uh, to actually warrant um, like anything, like trying to get a business. I was just trying to figure things out. So I, I went from one thing next to the next thing, right? And these was all cash businesses at the time. I would fix a computer for about 75 bucks. Then I went from there to trying to build websites. I fixed the, I built the website horribly wrong for my mom's friend for about 500 bucks. Uh, then I went from there to doing photography. And I went from there to doing t-shirts. So I was just doing all of this different stuff, trying to figure it out. And I was just making money doing these things that I would call hobbies. Uh, and once I started to do these things, you know, I got into t-shirts and figured it out. So as I started to get more and more comfortable in the t-shirts, there came a point in time where I was trying to do some work for the school. And at the school, they needed a, I think a 1099, uh, and they needed me to sign out all these forms. They needed an EIN number, all this stuff in order to pay me. So I'm like, oh man, I don't know what none of this stuff is. I had no idea, uh, but the contract was big enough that it made me figure it out really, really fast, get it done, and I got the EIN number over the phone, took 10 minutes, you know, I went down and registered my business. It's funny because I registered my business with the word LLC after it. Then I tried to go to the bank and they said, where's your LLC documents? I'm like, man, I don't know. I just went and filled out the business license. It says LLC, I'm an LLC, right? <laughs> so then she's like, no, you gotta actually do the corporation paperwork. So then I had to go back to the other office and figure this all out. 
And yeah, it was just a whole little thing. I had no clue. And that's why it's great for you guys to check out uh, the self-employed tax guy. He got a lot of videos on what you need and what you don't need. I personally do not believe you need an LLC for a t-shirt business. You really don't have much liability. And as it's explained to me uh, from him is, it's kind of like, you know, you if you needed insurance or something, you can get a separate insurance uh, to deal with your business in the same manner. Uh, but overall, I don't feel like a t-shirt business needs a LLC. Just get a regular business license in your state. And if you need a resale certificate, we don't here in Delaware, but if you do, get one of those and then you're off and running. All right, so let's talk about things that can force you to go legit, right? And first and foremost, you know, like barbers and different things like that, uh, salon uh, owners or whatever, it's a cash in hand business is really kind of like no way to track. I'm sorry, I gotta get a new uh, tripod here uh, for my car. But it's really no way to track what you do. But however, because a lot of us end up dealing with web stores and all of that stuff, the game changes as soon as you get an online store because all of that stuff that you put in the Shopify or Big Cartel or WordPress, you start to deal with these credit card processors and a direct deposit into your bank. Now all of this stuff becomes tracked and you are liable for paying taxes once you cross that threshold of a hobby, whatever that threshold is for your state. Again, okay, so those are things that you must consider. Uh, and then sometimes if you plan on vending at places, when you plan on vending at places, they may require you to have a business license, an EIN number and insurance. Usually not insurance for like a t-shirt business. If you had like a food vendor, uh, if you were like a food vendor or something like that, they would make you have like a million dollar insurance policy, okay? Now, something else that could make you go legit. A lot of us want to grow our t-shirt businesses. We want to get storefronts. In order to get my storefront, I had to have insurance. So I had to get a, you know, a million dollar insurance policy in case of my slips and falls. But this is all stuff that will also protect us uh, in our businesses from personal, like, sewage. Like, don't sue me personally. You can sue the business if something were to go wrong or happen. But the chances of a t-shirt business, you deliver a t-shirt happen. I mean, what can happen? the t-shirt set on fire or something and i'm pretty sure that it would be a reason for the t-shirt to set on fire right so you think about all of this stuff there's really not a ton of liability uh in these cases so that's something else now if you're playing very very close to like copyright infringement or different things like that these are things that you want to consider beforehand and you, you you can walk that fine line, but if you are walking that fine line, you're gonna wanna be protected. And lastly, uh, when it comes to that, you can uh, register a business, uh, you can get an LLC, and you can still be sued personally if you're not operating that business slash LLC um, properly, okay? And this is something I learned from the self-employed tax guy, again, you guys, he has a wealth of knowledge and information. He can help you get registered. He can help you do a lot of stuff. So you should definitely follow him. It doesn't even matter what kind of business, not necessarily just a t-shirt business. But if you're uh, using that like as an alias and not really operating your business properly with the bank accounts and how you pay yourself and how you taking care of your books and all that stuff, it can basically be like this person's didn't mean to do legitimate business. This is my understanding again. Uh, he didn't mean to do legitimate business and he just used it as a front. And if you look at everything that he has going on, none of it's done the proper way. Uh, so he's just protecting himself and he's doing shady business. So now you can still, they can, uh, the lawyer can do something. I don't know what it, that something is called, but they can separate that and say, hey, you weren't really running the business and you can still be sued. So all of this stuff, all in all, uh, comes down to the fact that you got to figure out what is the best thing for you. So sometimes you start now, you don't even know if, this is something that you want to do. Is this just a hustle? Is this just something that you're testing out? Uh, are you going to actually pursue it full time or not? So consider all of these things and figure out, is it really worth me getting a business license or not? And if you have questions, hit up the self-employed tax guy. I'm going to put a link down to his YouTube channel in the comments below, uh, rather in the description below. So you guys can go over there uh, and book a consultation, man. You got to invest in yourself and spend a little bit of money sometimes to get the answers and fix, figure out specific things for your business. A lot of you guys want me to answer questions and want us influencers to answer questions, but we don't have all of the background information and it could go a lot of different ways. So in order to really get a tailored um, 
solution for what you got going on. You got to invest in yourself and uh, find someone who can give you the correct information and get you rolling the right way. So I hope you guys found this video useful. This has been your boy Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace.